a lot of times drones they'll have their own cameras but drones are fucking expensive man like uh Yeah, but good ones. Yeah, cuz the thing is the the one that I got, I bought for like 200 something dollars, um which Rashad was telling me that that's a cheap one. And I was like, shit, I was like, that's a cheap one. And um well, I saw it like the, you know, it, it was good. It was pretty good, but just some of the features didn't work too well. And um he told me to get a DJI. And then those those things cost eight hundred dollars. Um, yeah, he got a drone. Yeah, he got a DJI. I think he bought his for like four hundred. But um, yeah, he's got some good videos. Like he's uh, he's got some videos um, of him going over the bay, like with the with the drone, drone going over the bay, coming back. Um, so he's got a pretty good one. Okay, I go best. Yeah, yeah I'll look them out. <laughs> yeah, man, I just. I was thinking about this shit today and I was like, man, I gotta get up on my shit. And I think what I'm gonna do is uh one of these Sundays I might go to uh to Bayshore where uh, Tampa Calisthenics guys are at. Because the good thing is they take all levels too, so or they'll they'll accept anybody with any level. So that's a good thing. They, they they're out there. They're out there on Sundays. It looks like they're out there either in the afternoon or sometimes early. Yeah. Well, not necessarily joining the team, but uh, doing exercises with them, you know? Yeah, it's kind of like a meetup. Um, there's a lot of times there, well, they, they advertise it that way because I follow them on Instagram. And they'll, they'll say that, they'll say, come join us. You know, we take every level. So they're pretty open. Yeah, they're out there with the, uh, they'll bring the parallel bars too. I looked it up. <laughs> I remember seeing that you almost had it. Yeah, yeah, man. You just gotta, you just gotta keep at it. You'll definitely get it. There's a dude in New York, um, I forgot what his name was, but he, uh, I think he's Jamaican. He talks about it too. <laughs> He'll straight up talk about anything. He'll be like, man, he's like, I fuck like a rabbit still <laughs> at, uh, at 60 something years old. And he's ripped too, he's ripped. And he's, he's talking about how he started calisthenics um, at an older age. And like he was, he was telling, he was saying that he feels healthier at that point in his life versus when he was like 20s and 30s. So that goes to show, like, you can start anything and, you know, you can get to a certain level that you never thought possible, but you just gotta, number one, get the mind on there, and then just that consistency, just doing that same thing every day.
Yeah, I think, um, yeah, that's part of it. I mean, because he's very strong. He's very, very strong. Um, yeah. Yeah, it probably is, man. That's that's what it is. I mean, a lot of people don't want to put... I was talking about it um, just now. as I, I, I was talking on this video as I'm biking. And I was talking about how um, as you get older, your digestive system can't take certain foods and certain things that it used to be able to take. Because, um, I mean, I'm 36. And, you know, throughout my 20s, I drank a lot of alcohol. Um, and I think that definitely messed up um things like my liver and gallbladder maybe even pancreas a little bit but either way i was able to fix that shit um so you know it just goes to show like you, it's never too late to fix anything <clears throat> um but yeah it's true that uh you know once you get older you just really have to eat healthier things and you gotta cut out some shit and uh a lot of people they're just like oh they feel like they can't do it because they they want that they like tasty food but I remember having that mindset in high school. I was just like, yo, like, I used to be like people who couldn't do it. I'll be like, yo, like, I'm not eating for a pleasure. Like, I'm eating for energy. <laughs> you know, it's for it's for performance. So you just gotta think about it like that, man. You gotta think of food as fuel, not as something that's supposed to taste good every day. Yeah, he's probably referring to that meal as like uh maybe the main meal because that's like because i mean if somebody does that that's that's an unhealthy typically an unhealthy thing to do is just eat one meal a day yeah shit going uphill now man this is uh fighting gravity right now man that's what it is that's what life is life is fighting gravity <laughs> yeah man it, it can change you know what's crazy i'm gonna tell you this so <clears throat> when i when i was in college i actually lost weight when in my first year of college because I was I was doing more exercise. I was playing a lot of basketball, um, just doing a lot of activities. And then I noticed some of my friends who lived in the city, they got lazy, they gained weight. And they were slow, like, I, I was just like, yo, like, <laughs> like are they for real? Because I remember I took them out to play basketball one day and I was just like, yo, like, are y'all serious right now? <laughs> and like, like, they couldn't do simple things, it's simple movements. So you figure that's what happens like in life when you stop moving the way you used to move it your body starts to break down yeah man that's uh right now i think i'm at tarpon springs right now I got up late too. I got up like at 12, 1 o'clock. And uh, I was just like, you know what? I was like, let me hit up Tim. If Tim is busy, then I'm doing this. So, yeah, man, it sucks because this, uh, the wind is a little bit, like it sucks because of the wind. But I'm out here wearing my gloves, got my hoodie, got my sweatpants on. Hey, you know what's crazy? Like, I, I've gone, uh, well, I've gotten a little bit intense with this, but I haven't sweated as much, and I think it's just because it's cold out here and the wind, the wind is hitting. <laughs> but, uh, 
I was telling people because uh, people up north, they'll be laughing at me because it's 60 degrees. And I'm like, yo, y'all not feeling this 60 degrees of the humidity out here. This shit hits your bones, man. I think that's another thing down here why certain, uh, and I, you know what? That, that's interesting because up in New Jersey, it's not as humid, right? Over here, I mean, it's st you still got humidity, but down here, I noticed that my bones are different. And I think that that contributes a little bit of my hip pain. It's just the, the different type of humidity that's over here. That shit, that shit really does hit your bones, man. Definitely, Tim. All right, man, you enjoy that food, man. You have a good uh, evening.